you can get into trouble with time zones and locales in Google Sheets. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's the current time. I'm going to copy and paste this as values only so it's no longer that function. Then I'm going to go up here to File, Settings, and you can see that I'm in the Eastern Time Zone. But let's just bump that back to Central. Save and Reload. And then I can enter that same Now function, and you can see it's now formatted in Central Time Zone. Okay, so that's the first thing to check if you're having issues with time zones. The second thing, though, if you're doing some more complicated things using Apps Script, it's interesting to note so we have central time zone over here in our spreadsheet settings, but it's back to Eastern in our apps script settings. So these are changed independently of each other. Where's the one that's just regular central time here? How about Chicago? Now it is a handy drop down list. You used to have to check this box and then over here in the editor, you would have an app script JSON file where you can manually change it. And you can still manually change it here, but I find it easier to just go to the app script project settings. So first place to try if you're having trouble with time zone in the, sh the settings for the spreadsheet. Second place if you're using app script and something is still running afoul, go to the project settings for app script. Now, in addition to time zone problems, there could be locale problems. So let's say we got uh, some numbers here and we want to sum them together. Well, we can say sum B4, comma, sum B5, comma, sum B6, and that'll total those up. Now, this is a pretty crude way to do it, but you get the point. We have a function and then we've got different variables separated by commas. If I go up here and I go back to the settings, and we go to, let's say, Arminia, save and reload, check this out. Now we've got semicolons. Now it was smart enough to change these automatically in this example, but if you run into an issue and you're trying to type in some B4, B5, B6, and you're getting an error and you're like, what's going on? This is correct. Well, this may be the hidden issue that you just can't see. It's supposed to be semicolons if the locale is somewhere else in the world where the comma is not the standard. Hope that is helpful for you. If it was, please hit the, the like button and subscribe to the channel for more productivity tips using coding and spreadsheets. Have a great one. Bye.